This is this is Temple OS Five Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode One Hundred Four, and I'm your host Terry Davis. And where did God take us to today? We are in uh, to the front, which is a tank game. Uh, So, what this looks like is uh, okay. So we have uh, artillery. And uh, this is, there's a game called uh, The Perfect General. Um, that's a better game. This is, uh, this uses tank facing like a game, Stalin's Tanks, that I had as a kid. Uh, I would like the perfect general to be rewritten for Temple OS. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't care. What's strange is uh, when the Cold War ended, normal people stopped taking interest. But uh, yeah, StarCraft is popular in South Korea. I thought, oh, isn't that neat? They have video game sports but uh, uh, that's because they have North Korea <laughs> it's not quite as oh well so um, we are in the where unit initialization so uh, Each type of unit has armor, an armor value. In most of these games, you have either armored or infantry. And the weapons are effective with one number against armor, armored attack, and unarmored attack. Um, I'm not very thrilled about this game. <laughs> I would call it bland, as in uh, not much fun. Just if you had a game and all you did was uh, one for one exchanges and there wasn't, if strategy didn't matter. So uh, what we're doing here is uh, storing a pointer to a sprite. Uh, if I hit Control T, it reveals this is stands for Insert Binary, the tag, and the binary number. So the tag can be uh, text. Um, if you want, uh, it's not even colored. That's interesting. Okay, um, if you if you put brackets, it will automatically put the number. Oh, I lied. I guess it, if I put a three, it, it corrects it to two. The reason now these numbers are not under your control because if I I just copied on the clipboard and as it turns out uh, these are actually uh, well anyway let's go trace this let's go let's go to the source so well anyway this is a uh, the compiler treats it like a text string 
it's it's you know if you had a text string the compiler puts a pointer to the string value if you have a text string if you have a uh, if you have an image a sprite all it is is a it's a pointer to a uh, a, a string value now it turns out it makes a copy of the sprite if you put it on a clipboard so if you you have to manage these on your own if you don't want copies so you're you're free to change these back to um I should probably explain this. I'm the only person on earth who <laughs> knows how these work. Anyway, uh, so let's go up to the uh, the source. So these sprites are at the top uh, somewhere. Here they are. Uh, so this the those were insert binary. These are sprite SP, and they have the binary number. Uh, now in this game, I tried to uh, to use the same sprite for two different colors. Uh, that so you set the color ahead of time, and uh, it draws a couple things with whatever color is set to, and then it changes the color. So it's not really set up for a, uh, we could make it more complicated and um, I, I think we're going to make it less complicated. So I think what the way you should do this is uh, you should explicitly create cyan in purple. Uh, versions I don't think we want to uh, to make uh, I don't think we want to make it more complicated with uh, uh, customer flexible colors or I don't know what you want to call that anyway so uh, that's that